Hi guys, I'm Jazz. I'm one of the uh, senior registrars here in the emergency department of the Oxford University Hospitals. Today I just wanted to talk you guys through the basic setup of the Oxylog 3000 portable ventilator unit. So this is what we will be using for a lot of our hypoxic respiratory failure patients. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that we have an oxygen supply via the trader valve. So this is going to go to the supply in the wall. You want to make sure that as you turn, you hear the click. Give it a very gentle tug to make sure that it is secure. If you're in the respiratory ED, the Schrader valve will go directly into the oxygen cylinder like so. It is a bit stiff, so give it a good push until you hear the click. Gentle tug to make sure that it is there. Once that's in, we're going to connect it to the power supply in the wall. This is the power cable and it slots very nicely into the DC input uh, hole, like so. And you should then see that both of these um, lights go green. The next thing that we need will be our adult disposable uh, tubing. This comes in a pack, but we've pre-opened it just for the sake of this video. The first is where the gas is delivered, this plastic port in light blue. We plug it in to this. Okay, check that it is secure, and it is. The next thing we have is our flow meters. This port goes into the two extended um, metal spikes that you can feel. It can sometimes go in a bit tight, and ensure that the plastic bit this is coming out does not touch the blue tubing. So that's the basic setup for the Oxylog 3000. Uh, and we can now start thinking about ventilating the patient. 